Found throughout the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, one species of fish has evolved its talent for spitting to be used in a variety of applications. Small and charismatic creatures, jawfish average just 10 centimeters in length. Occupying challenging terrain and ready to duck for cover at the slightest hint of danger, there are currently over 80 described species of jawfish, with more being discovered all the time. Exhibiting great variety in their appearance, they share the common attributes of enlarged heads, bulbous eyes, and cavernous mouths. The huge mouth of the jawfish is kept busy digging burrows. Spitting excavated material to one side, jawfish tunnel vertically into the sea floor in order to create cleverly engineered burrows. It is here they will spend the majority of their lives, safely ensconced from the ocean's myriad of predators. Scooping up mouthfuls of sand, pebbles and coral rubble into its enlarged mouth chamber, the jawfish contracts its gills to force the debris back out again. Narrowing the mouth opening creates increased pressure, allowing the jawfish to fire targeted debris at unwelcome intruders. Unable to either outswim or fight off the many predators that target them, jawfish are extremely vulnerable in the open water. Rarely venturing far from their burrows, their remarkable mouths are their greatest asset in preparing and maintaining a ready escape route. When danger has passed by, a jawfish will cautiously check that the coast is clear before re-emerging from the safety of their burrows. While their spitting is not an effective deterrent to predators, it can be used against fellow jawfish. Investing so much of their energy into digging and fastidiously cleaning their burrows, it is no surprise that jawfish are highly territorial. And when a rival crosses the boundary, the resident jawfish will accurately spit gravel in a sign of aggression to ward the intruder away. But the jawfish's reliance on its mouth does not end with digging and spitting, with the males of the species also practicing mouth brooding. Carefully incubating their eggs while holding them in their mouths, the fathers-to-be will open wide to aerate their young, foregoing food themselves until the newborns are hatched. As the day draws to a close, the jawfish retires to the safety of its burrow. Covering and perfectly concealing the entrance, they may sleep safely within.